friends uh, welcome back to physics online class uh, in last class we discussed the concept related to archimedes principle right so from that archimedes principle we come to know that buoyant force act on the body when the body is immersed partially or completely inside the fluid so that buoyant force which is equal to weight of the liquid which is rising upward direction so it means that whenever the body is immersed in the liquid then level of the liquid is getting rising up so in day to day life we observe these thing then so our question is how much quantity of the liquid is rising upward direction for that purpose archimedes he given that answer for that whatever the quantity of liquid is rising upward direction that which is equal to weight of the body we can consider so buoyant force act on the body when it is immersed completely or partially into the fluid then weight of the body which is equal to level of the liquid is rising upward direction so that is about archimedes principle in today's session so we'll discuss some neat applications related to hydrostatics here so we'll discuss some neat concept related to hydrostatics right for example in case of that archimedes principle we said that when the body is filled means when the body is uh, uh, completely immersed into the liquid then level of the liquid is rising upward direction i said so in this situation what about the weight of the body when the body is in air for example take this is the one body if the body is in air position so this body is in air weight of this body is let us take it as 2 kg right the same body i will immerse in water what about its weight weight of this body in water is same or it in water it's different so this weight will be less than the actual weight so in the air its weight is 2 kg means if it is immersed in water or if it is immersed in liquid weight of this body is getting decreases here what's the reason for decrease in weight of the body why because weight is acting downward direction buoyant force is acting upward direction so there exists a loss in weight of the body right how much weight of the body is getting loss i have to find out here so loss in weight of the body first we'll discuss about that loss in weight of the body when the body is immersed in liquid right so what will be the apparent weight of this body i have to find out so in order to find out that apparent weight so apparent weight which is equal to actual weight actual weight minus of buoyant force minus of buoyant force actual weight let it be w dash actual weight is w so i can take this one as m into g where mass i can write it as volume into sigma sigma in the sense density of the substance remember that sigma indicates that density sorry sigma indicates that density of the substance here minus of buoyant force which is acting upward direction v into rho into g here rho indicates the density of the liquid here sigma indicates the density of the substance right so i will take out that common factor v sigma into g if i take out common means here one here rho by sigma i can consider w dash which is equal to so volume into density of the substance into acceleration due to gravity this is actual weight right v sigma into g i will write it as weight here 1 minus of rho by sigma this is the mathematical expression for finding out that actual weight when the body is immersed in fluid here so w dash which is nothing but apparent weight w is nothing but actual weight w dash is nothing but apparent weight of the body where w is the actual weight in in air actual weight of the body in air where rho indicates that remember this point density of fluid or liquid you can consider 
where as sigma in the sense density of substance density of the substance here now we'll understand what's the mean of density <coughs> generally we know that density is nothing but it is the ratio of mass per unit volume what do you mean by density here basically we know that density in generally we will represent by the symbol rho here density which is equal to mass per unit volume it is the ratio of mass per unit volume now in order to find out the density of the any body i will compare with the other body right so in order to compare with the other body i will take that water as a reference here so look at here in order to find that density of that any body i need that reference what is the reference i will consider i will consider that water is the reference at 4 degree celsius why because we know the thing density of the water is maximum at 4 degree celsius so we will find out that relative density i will use one more term here that is relative density means i will compare that density of that any body with respect to water that we can consider as relative density it is the ratio of so how will you define that relative density it is the ratio of it is the ratio of density of the substance it is the ratio of density of the substance to the density of the water at 4 degree celsius so why i consider the density of water at 4 degree celsius we know the thing density of the water is maximum at 4 degree celsius so relative density which is equal to density of the substance density of the substance divided by density of water density of water at 4 degree celsius this is the required formula for relative density right for example now i will take that two different liquids here those two different liquids i will get mix here so if i mix these two liquid what about that effective density i have to find out so look at here i will take that two different liquid here these liquid having that mass m1 and m2 and these two liquid having the density rho1 and rho2 now i will mix up these two liquid if i mix up these two liquid i will get that what about that effective density of those two liquid right in order to find out that effective density of the mixture so i will calculate by the mathematical formula here so we'll find out that density of the mixture right in case of that density of the mixture so i hope you know about that related density concept related density means density of the substance divided by density of the water at 4 degrees celsius next we will consider that density of mixture right right so now i will take that two liquid here two different liquid two different liquid of mass m1 and m2 these two liquid having that mass m1 and m2 and its density and its density is rho 1 and rho 2 what is the density of these two liquid here rho 1 and rho 2 are mixed are mixed these two liquids are mixed are mixed then then effective density of mixture is effective density of mixture is right for example generally density is nothing but mass per unit volume 
these two liquid having mass m1 and m2 total mass is m1 plus of m2 total volume is v1 plus of v2 now where v1 shall i write it as m1 by rho1 and v2 which is equal to m2 by rho2 then equation 1 i can rewrite it as effective density rho which is equal to m1 plus of m2 divided by wherever v1 is there just i will take it as m1 by rho1 plus of m2 by rho of 2 just i will make simplification here m1 plus of m2 in denominator rho1 into rho2 i will take it as lcm m1 into rho2 plus of m2 into rho1 right so this rho1 is comes to rho1 and rho2 comes to numerator rho which is equal to m1 plus of m2 into rho1 into rho2 divided by m1 into rho2 plus of m2 into rho1 this is the expression for density of the mixture right for example if mass of these two liquids are same m1 which is equal to m2 generally i will take it as m here if mass of these two liquids are same means density of the mixture m plus of m 2 times of m into rho1 into rho2 m and m i will take out common here rho1 plus of rho2 m term will get cancel out here density of the mixture which is equal to 2 times of rho1 into rho2 divided by rho1 plus of rho2 so this is the direct formula for density of the mixture if two liquids having that mass m1 and m2 and having that density rho1 and rho2 here so this is the required formula for the density of the mixture now i will take that two different liquids of mass m1 and m2 and having that volume v1 and v2 density rho1 and rho2 means this is the formula and i will take that volume v1 and v2 and these two liquids are get mixed up then what about the effective density i need to find out here right its volume v1 and v2 mixed then effective density of the mixture generally density which is equal to mass per unit volume m1 plus of m2 divide by v1 plus of v2 right so where m1 shall i take it as rho1 into v1 and m2 which is equal to rho2 into v2 then equation 1 i can rewrite it as equation 1 rewrite as rho which is equal to m1 means instead of m1 i will take that rho1 into v1 plus of rho2 into v2 divide by v1 plus of v2 this is the formula for density of the mixture if that volume of both the liquids are same let us take v here then density of the mixture v i will take out common here rho1 plus of rho2 v plus of v 2 times of v volume term will get cancel out density of the mixture which is equal to rho1 plus of rho2 divide by 2 this is the generalized expression for density of the mixture when these two liquid having that volume v1 and